Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today was experiment day, so I had a lot of fun. Uh, came out with a product that's behind me here that is something else. I can't, I don't know how else to describe it. So basically I wanted to do another reverse Dutch pour and I used, um, I did the swipe this time around i've been doing the ring pour i've been doing flip cups so today i've done it on uh, with a swipe which means there's a lot more action in the backdrop so for this painting which i'm doing over an old canvas as you can see my backdrop the base is black i'm hoping to get a lot of negative space and for the swipe i'm using three pastel blues a gold and a purple for the accent color the same purple and uh, the cell activator um, are going to be used for the dutch pour later on for all the blues and the gold i am adding silicone so i get a lot of cell action i want to have a lot of a, a dramatic backdrop for my uh, for my dutch pour this time so I'm putting about three drops of silicone per color. I did not put it in the purple because I'm going to use that same uh, container for the Dutch pour and I don't want to mess with the silicone there.
All right, so this is the pour. I have decent amount of cells. Of course, I had to stretch them out, but I like the subtleness. I love the gold that's shown up to the party. I like this purple because this is what's going to tie in to my bloom. And I love the negative space. So let me mull on where I should put the bloom and let's see how it turns out. So I'm thinking first I thought I'd put it here, the bloom, but then that'll take away way too much of the painting. The backdrop and the backdrop is interesting enough where I want to stick with it. So I finally decided to do it here so that some of this black disappears and some of this kind of merges, gives purpose to this space. So I'm going to do the pores over here. At this point I'm realizing that there's not enough purple in the main um, swipe backdrop that I have. So I went ahead and took a popsicle stick and some of the leftover purple paint and while everything was still wet I started um, just inserting some uh, purple manually and I am so glad I did that because it ultimately brought everything together better than I could have imagined.
so here is the uh, wet result of the final product uh, I am thrilled with the purple accents that I added as you can see um, there is a significant amount that I inserted in there to tie in the bloom the purple bloom which now has started looking so much more integrated against this very dramatic backdrop uh, oh my gosh I wish you guys could see it uh, live without this annoying uh, flash in the backdrop but it's looking absolutely full of movement and uh, drama and I just love this piece thank you for watching